Welcome to the installation guide for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle via the emulator RPCS3, a PlayStation 3 emulator. This tutorial will explain to you how to install the RPCS3 emulator along with the All-Star Battle ROM, how to get the DLC stuff working, and with some additional information that may assist you in the long run. First, to install the emulator. What is most recommended is RPCS3 version 0.0.4, dated January 27th of 2018. This is the latest build discovered that contains HP life bars. The latest build of the emulator's website does not run life bars due to strange issues with the game's compatibility with the emulator, along with the sheer randomness of how life bars work with the emulator, no matter what graphics card you are using. You are allowed to install any latest builds of the emulator from the website, but it is worth noting that you are sacrificing life bars for additional options on the emulator and pause performance improvements. After you downloaded the emulator, extract files. Then you will want to download the firmware file for the PS3 emulator. After that, download the ASB ROM for the Mega Lake. Download the three zip files as one file altogether. Extract the files once they have all downloaded and only extract the part one ROM. After you extract the ROM file, then you want to open the emulator. After you extract the ROM file, then you will want to open the emulator. As for getting started with the emulator, first read the quick start guide, and then continue. After that, install the firmware under File, and install the firmware. Select the firmware file, which is a PUP file, and then the emulator will install it. Use these settings for the game, and be sure to get your rendering settings to Vulkan and the console language English. Remember to configure your controller settings as well. To boot the game, go to File and then Boot Game. From there, you want to select the ASB ROMs folder. Since it is the first time the game is being launched, it will compile PPU modules with multiple windows showing. This is normal, but will take a while and may use a library GPU while you're at it, so hang tight. When that is done, the game will boot up automatically. The game will appear on the emulator's game list and then boot up the game via double clicking on it or right clicking and then boot the game. The game should boot up after this. 
When closing the game or opening up a second time like that, a fatal error may occur, and close the emulator along with it. Just open the emulator again, for this process is normal. Since the game I provided you is in the US version, then the DLC codes I will also provide is also in the US version as well. In order to download these PKG files, just download the zip file of the codes that are in the description and then extract them. The DLC codes I will provide are character DLC codes, campaign mode data, special costumes, as well as a DLC fix code. After downloading all of them, you then will want to install the PKG files. Open up the emulator and click and then install the PKG files. When the window opens, you select the PKG files individually with the DLC fix code always being first and then last as well until you installed all of the DLC codes. In order to boot the game up without the Iggy free screen, which shows Iggy walking while the window below him says, searching downloadable content, an RPCS3 form has confirmed a way to bypass this. Open up Task Manager before you boot up the game, then you'll want to go to Details and find the emulator and then right click and set Affinity. A window will pop up, you will want to click on all processors to deselect all the CPU options except CPU0 which will be checked. After that, apply changes and then boot up the game. The game will run at a slower frame rate, but we'll skip the Iggy screen and we'll add all the DLC codes and the others you installed. When you have bypassed the Iggy screen and reached the opening intro, you are allowed to go back to Task Manager and then set all the CPU checks back again, having the game run smoothly. If the game were not to run after getting through the logos and you see some red error messages on the bottom of the emulator, then simply close the emulation and restart the steps.
Here are two Discord servers that will help you along the way. The ASP Discord server will help you with gameplay tips, matchmaking, and with other guides as well. This is your go-to server if you want to improve your ASP skills. The other server is the RPCS3 server, where you can ask your emulator questions and any sorts of troubleshooting. Any questions you have regarding the emulation problems should only be directed to that server and not to the comment section of this video. Be sure to read the rules and follow them when asking your questions. If you want to play this game with some kind of online connection, then you will need to use Parsec. There is no PSN netplayer in the emulator since it is impossible to emulate, therefore there is no netplay for the game. Parsec is probably the only way to play the game with a friend online. If you don't know how to get Parsec working, look it up, it's simple. In this video, you'll learn how to utilize the RPCS3 emulator and got also about running with the life bars. You bypass the Iggy screen and got the DLC characters also working. Two helpful Discord servers are available to join along with the option to use Parsec to play with a friend online. Thanks for watching.